Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Guys, uh, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp groups, guys, uh, student groups, so that it can reach maximum number of students. So to the student groups, so that it will reach maximum number of students. So guys, uh, I am making this video because I have got, got most number of requests to do this, especially this subject management information system. So as of now, I am doing week two assignment. So within one or two days, I'll try to do the week one also. So guys, I, I need your complete support in order to continue this series uh, till the last week of this course. Uh, if you like the video, then only we will count that as a support towards our video. So the number of likes shows how many people want this course video. So don't just watch guys, like the video so that our video will come to suggestions to maximum number of students. So please watch the video till the end without skipping. So we require average view duration high so that we, you can uh, expect the next upcoming videos because uh, based on this average view duration, uh, we will assess how many students like our videos to do this so please watch till the end in order to improve average view duration and also do like the video guys so let's see the week to assignment solution guys i hope almost all questions are correct but if there are any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section and if i get any if i found any uh, changes i will also update in the comment section so once again watch this video for uh, before the final submission for any corrections available so now let's see the first question what are entity relationship diagrams used for so for first question the probable answer is option c creating models for database design so mark option c now let's move on to the second question So second question, what do entities represent in a database? So for second question, the probable answer is option D, persons, things or places about which a data is stored. So mark option D. Now let's move on to the third question here. Third one, what is the purpose of normalization in database design? So for third question, I think the probable answer is option D, reducing data redundancy and improving data integrity. So mark option D as correct answer for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth one guys. The fourth question. So fourth one, how does a data mart differ from a data warehouse? So actually they have given that data mart is a subset. It's a subset of data warehouse. So that means we can, uh, I think we can uh, define that data marts are one of the sub parts or smaller versions of data where, right? Data warehouse, right? So I'm going with option A guys. Data marts are smaller versions of data warehouses. So mark option A as correct answer for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth question guys. <clears throat> so fifth one, which step in the KDD process involves finding patterns and rules in the data? So for fifth question, I think the probable answer is <clears throat> option C, data mining. So mark option C as correct answer for fifth 
question is so this is the probable answer now let's move on to the sixth question so sixth one state true or false so we have got we have got two statements here the first one whole app supports multi dimensional data analysis so it is true statement only and if you see the second one in all app each attribute of the information is a different dimension so this could be also the true statement only so the answer is option a both statement 1 and 2 are true so mark option a <coughs> now let's move on to the seventh question guys seventh one <coughs> So seventh question, which category of analytics primarily describes, summarizes, and analyzes historical data? Here, if you see the history meaning, definitely it's about description, right? So option A, descriptive analytics. So mark option A as correct answer for seventh question. Now let's move on to the eighth one. So eighth question, which technique is commonly used in predictive analytics to forecast future outcomes based on past data? So for eighth question, guys, I think the probable answer is option A, regression. So I think it is regression, guys. So mark option A as probable solution for Eighth question. Now let's move on to the so ninth question. Given customer data with their geographical location, lifestyle habits, income, age, education, gender, your model has to target a segment of customers for a particular product. So what is this? So for ninth question. The probable answer is option B, classification task. Classification task. So I'm going with option B, guys. So if you feel there should be any changes to be made to this solution, please give your opinion in the comment section. This is these are as per my view, these are the solutions, guys. So now let's see move on to the final question of the assignment. That is 10th one. Which one of the following? I mean, which of the following is a Predictive analytics application. Predictive analytics application. So for 10th question, the probable solution is I think all of these. So mark option D as the probable solution for 10th question. So friends, these are the solutions for week 2 assignment of management inform information system course. So hope this video helpful for you. In order to continue um, in order to continue uh, me to all the week assignments till the last week of this course so keep supporting me like this guys so the views and reach of this video will decide so till which week we have to upload these videos so i want to continue till the last week of this course videos guys it all depends on uh, the support that you give towards our channel so as as per the most of our viewers as per the demand we have made the subject guys so keep supporting us so share this within your whatsapp student groups and also don't forget to like guys so the number of likes uh, tell how many students want really want our videos so that will decide the future uploading videos for regarding other weeks other weeks guys so don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel for further updates guys so until the next video goodbye thank you